The conventional wisdom is that these people control America's Republican Party, that the inmates run the grand old party's asylum, that the battle for the Republican Party's future is between the pitchforks outside the Capitol and the staid establishment lawmakers inside it. With this, all of the people on both sides of the aisle that are behind this, they just nullified our entire we the people, all of our power. And I'm not okay with that. There is, to be sure, a real battle for the future of the Republican Party between Donald Trump and Trumpism and the Republican establishment. But a deeper look at the polling shows a more complicated fault line, not between voters and elites, but among the voters themselves. From its polling, the Pew Research Center has grouped Republican voters into three, 29% who hold full-on pro-Trump positions, 25% who don't, and 46% who are in the middle. Trump's followers are louder and more committed, but they do not have a hold on Republican opinion. Conservative red suburbs have flipped for Joe Biden. It's not necessarily a repudiation of the Republican Party at large. I think it's more of a repudiation of President Trump and kind of Trump, you know, Trumpian Republicanism, if you will. This all adds up to a Republican Party replay. A fight between two groups of voters, establishment and populist, much like the fight between the establishment and the Tea Party movement a decade ago. For all the heightened emotions of this moment, the longer-term upshot may be no more and no less dramatic than that.